What's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to be testing out some emulators on the all new AMD Ryzen 5 3400G APU. This is AMD's latest APU and the successor to the 2400G. I recently posted my review video of the 3400G for PC gaming. If you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link in the description. But I figured it was time to find out how this new APU handles emulation. So in this video, we're going to be testing out some PS2, some Dreamcast, some PSP, we'll do some GameCube, 3DS, Wii U, Sega Saturn, and even PS3 using RPCS3. But before we get started, I want to give you a quick rundown on the specs of this new APU and the system I'm going to be running this in. So this comes in at 150 US dollars. We have four cores, eight threads, base clock 3.7 gigahertz with a boost of 4.2, built-in Radeon RX Vega 11 graphics at 1400 megahertz, and a TDP of 65 watts. My test rig consists of a gigabyte B450 DS3H motherboard, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz, a 500 gigabyte Crucial MX300 SSD, and a 500 watt power supply. All right, so before we get into any gameplay, I do want to mention that I did test SimU, the Wii U emulator. It's the latest version as of making this video. I have SimU hook installed. I got all the hacks that I can do to make these games run better. And performance is really bad on the 3400G right now. And I think it comes down to the GPU driver being used by the 3400G because on my 2400, I can get better performance out of this. I can actually get 60 FPS in Mario Kart and Bayonetta 2. But right now, I think SimU is out of the question, at least for this video. I'll come back to it at a later date when everything's working correctly. So first up, we have some Sega Saturn emulation using RetroArch with the Modafin core, and it works really well on this APU. I had trouble with the 2400G in the past running these at full speed, but with the higher clocks, we get much better performance here. Naomi and the Thomas Wade work great on this chip. I'm using RetroArch and the recently renamed Flycast for it. it used to be Raycast. Next up, we have some Dreamcast using the ReDream emulator, and I'm as close as I can get to 1080p at this 4x3 aspect ratio, but everything's working well here, and it also worked really well in the 2200G and the 24. GameCube using the Dolphin emulator. This is Rogue Squadron 2, and unfortunately, I had to take this down to 720p. It's just a problematic game, and even still, we get some frame drops every once in a while. But overall, the Dolphin emulator should work really well on the 3400G. I tested a few other games at 1080p and had no troubles at all. PS2 using PCSX2 and I'm using the 1.5 development builds. This is Ratchet and Clank, up your arsenal, and I was able to take this to 720p. Overall, if you're just looking for PlayStation 2 emulation, I would actually stay away from the APUs and go with a nice little Intel. Even an i3-8100 with a 1030 will outperform this.
And finally, for PS2 emulation, we have Shadow of the Colossus. I did have to take this back down from 720 to native to get it to run smoothly, but overall, it performs really well. PSP really isn't that bad to emulate. There are a few games like this one, God of War Chains of Olympus and Kill Zone Liberation that are a little harder to emulate with lower end devices, but this at 4X resolution works fine. Every once in a while you'll notice a hiccup, but that's kind of what you get with this game. MAME's gonna work great with this setup. This is Killer Instinct 2. While this isn't the hardest game to emulate with MAME, it does give us problems on ARM chips, so I figured I'd test it here. Now, if you're getting into like Blitz 2001 and things like that, you will have some lag. It's just notorious for that. using the Citra emulator really isn't great on these AMD APUs. I've struggled even with the 2400G overclocked to 4.3 gigahertz. And as you can see here, we do get some major frame dips. And moving over to Smash Brothers, we're only running at about 10 FPS. And this is with all the settings as low as I could go. And I do have OpenGL enabled. We have some PS3 emulation using RPCS3. Demon Souls seems like it's gonna run fine, but we're plagued by the flickering issue that's been ongoing for a couple builds now, so I'm gonna skip this one and we'll move over to Tekken 6. Constant 60 FPS, very surprising to see this running at full speed. The RPCS3 emulator is still very young, but it's come a long way since it was released. As you can see, we got full speed emulation with Tekken 6. But overall, I wouldn't suggest buying this APU specifically for PS3 emulation. You definitely want more CPU power for this emulator. And the final game I tested was Skate 3. This is notoriously hard to run. Even my i5-9600K, which is a 6-core Intel CPU overclocked to 5.1 GHz with the addition of an RTX 2080 Ti, still struggles with this game. So going into this one, I knew we weren't going to hit 60 FPS. So overall, the 3400G is great for emulation in my opinion, and keep in mind that some of the higher end emulators you saw here, like PS3, 3DS, and even Wii U are relatively newer emulators, so there's always going to be problems. But if you're looking to build a small form factor, low power consumption emulation PC, I think the 3400 or even the 3200G is a great choice. Now I do have a super small form factor build coming up with the 3400G on the channel very soon, so if you're into that kind of stuff, you might want to subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else running on this chip, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.